Life began with a chemical reaction. Every component of this entire universe is the contribution of chemistry. In fact, many of the things we take for granted in daily life, like the food we eat, the air we breathe, the water that you drink, our emotions and literally every object that you see around you or touch are the outcomes of various chemical reactions. Well, now that you've understood the significance of chemistry, I hope we'll be able to learn this amazing subject with an open mind. Now, we have already learned that everything around us is matter and that the basic units of matter are atoms. We also know that matter has physical properties and chemical properties. Now, just like matter can have physical and chemical properties, it can also undergo physical and chemical changes. Let's understand the difference between the two. For this, we will take an ice cube and let it melt into water. As you can see, we have a completely different looking substance than what we had started with. But even though these two look very different, they are actually still the same thing. We started with frozen or solid water and ended up with liquid water. And even though the two phases look different, we still have water with us throughout the whole process. And if we were to freeze the water again, we'd have our ice back, just like that. Now, in other words, the change is reversible. Therefore, we say a physical change has occurred because the change does not involve change in chemical composition. However, there are other times when things look different because they've gone through something more than just a phase change. Sometimes the composition of a substance is changed, which is what happens during chemical reactions. During chemical reactions, the molecules of a substance are broken apart and rearranged into new and different molecules. For example, if you were to melt crystals of sugar in a pan, it would slowly start to melt and caramelize. As you can see, the physical appearance of sugar has completely changed. But that's not all. Its chemical properties have changed too. The heat from the cooking converts sugar molecules into different molecules with different properties. And that gives caramel its color and flavor. And unlike water, you cannot convert caramel back to sugar. This change is irreversible. Such changes, where there's a change in the physical as well as chemical properties of a substance, are called chemical changes. Now, there are four signs that prove the occurrence of a chemical reaction. First is a change in physical state. Second is a change in color. Third is the evolution of a gas. And fourth is a change in temperature. Now, if any of these things or a combination of them is observed, we can conclude that a chemical reaction has taken place. You've worked with equations in mathematics, right? Where an equation is used to represent information such as equalities or inequalities. Similarly, a chemical equation is a way to represent the components of a chemical reaction. It shows the before and after of a chemical reaction. Now, in general, we represent an equation in this way. Now, to better understand chemical reactions, it will help if we first work through the various parts of the reaction itself. First, what we start with are the reactants. Now, these are the substances that react with each other and actually take part in the reaction. You can think of these as the ingredients of the reaction. That is, what you put into the reaction. And they are always written on the left hand side or LHS in an equation with a plus sign between them. On the other end are the products. 
These are the newly formed substances or what you obtain as a result from the reaction. Now, since the products have different chemical compositions than the reactants, we can expect the products to have different physical properties as well. They are always written on the right-hand side, or RHS in an equation, with a plus sign between them. The arrow head in the middle points towards the products and shows the direction of the reaction. Now, these equations may be balanced or unbalanced. Let's understand what that means. Tutamate. For more amazing video lectures, download the free app on Apple App Store or Google Play Store.